Welcome to another edition of Autocar Quick News, your wrap of all the happenings from the automotive world from the week gone by. Before we get started, double check that you're subscribed to the channel and have hit the bell icon. If not, please do the needful to be notified every time we have a new video up. Let's kickstart the week's news with the much anticipated launch of the all new Hyundai Verna. The 6th Gen Verna has been launched in India with introductory prices starting at 10.9 lakh rupees and going up to 17.38 lakh rupees. The range comprises a 115 horsepower 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine that's offered with manual and CVT gear boxes. There's also a 160 horsepower 1.5 turbo petrol that can be had with a manual or dual clutch automatic gearbox. Blacked out elements help identify the turbo versions of the Verna on the outside. The new Verna is not only larger than the model it replaces, but is marginally bigger than its competitors too. A 528-litre boot capacity is among the best-in-class figures. The Verna's larger size is complemented by a rad new look. The Verna features long swooping lines up front and has an LED setup that spans almost the entire width of the car. There's complex surfacing at the sides and a fastback-like stance in profile. Inside, the Verna is neatly done with a twin-screen layout in line with latest trends. A two-spoke steering and ambient lighting strip on the dash are other elements of note inside. The Verna's interior comes finished in a beige on black combo for the 1.5 MPI variants, while the turbos get an all-black theme with red highlights. Heated and ventilated front seats, a sunroof and a Bose sound system are part of the package on fully loaded versions, while fully loaded automatics also bring in camera and radar-based ADAS functions. The extensive list of features includes forward collision warning and avoidance assist, smart cruise control with stop and go, lane keep warning and a blind spot assist warning and more. Six airbags and isofix child seat mounts are also standard fit across the range, though curiously only the turbo DCT variants get rear disc brakes. Verna deliveries start this week. Is the Verna a car of interest for you? Get the answer in Jez Verna review. Maruti Suzuki has launched the CNG iteration of the Brezza. The Brezza CNG is available in LXI, VXI and ZXI trims with prices starting at 9.14 lakh rupees. Variant to variant, the CNG versions are about a lakh pricier than the pure petrol versions. The Brezza CNG is powered by the familiar 1.5-litre K15C dual-jet engine. The engine is only offered with a 5-speed manual gearbox. It produces 101 horsepower and 136 Nm in petrol-only mode and 88 horsepower and 121.5 Nm in CNG mode. Maruti says the Brezza CNG offers a fuel economy of 25.51 km per kilogram. The Brezza CNG is no different in look, though boot space is reduced owing to the inclusion of the CNG tank. In other news from Maruti, the soon-to-be-launched Jimny is now on display at select Nexa outlets. The Jimny dealer showcase is currently ongoing in cities like Mumbai, Delhi NCR, Ahmedabad, Chandigarh, Mohali, Ludhiana, Raipur, Bhubaneswar and Bengaluru. The Jimny that was shown in five-door form for the very first time at Auto Expo 2023 had got over 23,000 bookings before the roadshow started. The model will go on sale in May. Quick question, what price do you think Maruti will launch the Jimny at? Let us know in the comments below. The starting price for Škoda's more powerful 1.5 TSI-powered Kushak and Slavia have come down. This is courtesy the addition of an Ambition trim for the engines. The Ambition variants of both models can be had with a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. The new variants would make for an interesting pick. The Ambition 1.5s are not only upwards of 2 lakhs more affordable than the higher spec style 1.5s, but also undercut the lesser part 1 litre turbo versions in their higher spec style trim. Buyers most keen on the performance of the 150 horsepower and 250 Nm 1.5 litre engines and okay with foregoing features such as leather upholstery, front seat ventilation, a sunroof, and jazzier wheels could find a good fit in the new Ambition trims. Citroën has announced it will unveil a new SUV in India on April 27. The French car maker has not given out any specific details, but it says that the SUV has been entirely designed and engineered in India. From what we know so far, Citroën's next product for India will be a mid-size SUV based on the C3 hatchback. The model is likely to be called the C3 Aircross. Previous spy images of the C3 Aircross show that it will be much larger than the C3 hatchback, measuring up to 4.2 meters in length. Sources also tell us that it will be offered with two and three row seating layouts. 
Spypex reveals a redone interior with some parts like the steering wheel and some switch gear seemingly shared with the C3 hatchback. The upcoming SUV will have a different touchscreen layout and features like automatic climate control on higher spec versions are also expected. The C3 Aircross is expected to run the 110 horsepower 190 Nm 1.2-litre 1 three-cylinder turbo petrol engine from the C3 hatchback. It has to be seen how this engine will cope with the larger sized SUV in the real world. Upon launch, the C3 Aircross will rival the likes of the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Maruti Grand Vitara, among others. Moving to supercars. Maserati has launched the gorgeous MC20 at an ex showroom price of 3.69 crore rupees in India. The MC20 looks the business, though the highlight of the package will be Maserati's new Nettuno engine. The 3 litre twin turbocharged V6 engine pumps out 630 horsepower and 730 Nm. Power is channeled to the rear wheels via an 8 speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. Maserati claims a 0 to 100 kph sprint time of just 2.9 seconds and a top speed over 325 km an hour. The engine sits behind the passenger cell and the proportions are typical of a mid engined car. The MC20 boasts a clean look with flowing lines with butterfly doors that lead into a minimalist interior being a key element on the MC20. The interior is rightfully focused around the driver. A 10-inch digital instrument display, a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system and lots of Alcantara and carbon fibre are part of the package. Maserati has said deliveries of the MC20 will begin in India in May 2023. 13 years after the introduction of the Aventador, Lamborghini has unveiled the successor to the Aventador. It's called the Revelto. Sticking to its heritage, the Revelto gets a new naturally aspirated V12 engine, but this time it's coupled with a plug-in hybrid system comprising three electric motors and a 3.8 kWh lithium-ion battery pack. The hybrid powertrain is capable of producing a maximum power output of 1,015 horsepower. The engine is paired to a new 8-speed dual-clutch gearbox. There are three electric motors in total, two at the front and one at the rear. The two motors on the front axle power each wheel, while the third motor above the gearbox supplies power to the rear wheels, depending on the selected driving mode and conditions. Lamborghini claims a 0 to 100 kph time of 2.5 seconds and a top speed well over 350 km an hour. The Lamborghini Revelto features sharp, edgy and extravagant design details that the brand is known for. Iconic Y-shaped elements can be seen all over the car, while at the rear, a pair of high-mounted hexagonal-shaped exhaust ports add even more wow factor. Scissor doors are of course part of the package. The new interior is also influenced by the Y design theme. The cabin has a pronounced carbon fibre centre profile with air vents and an 8.4-inch vertical touchscreen. There's also a 12.3-inch digital instrument panel display and a 9.1-inch passenger side display. India deliveries start in November 2023 and prices are expected to be, you might want to sit down for this, north of 10 crore rupees on road. To see the Revelto in more detail, check out Holmer's walk-around video from the launch function itself. On to news from the world of two-wheelers. In big news, Honda has announced plans to launch two new scooters in India in the next financial year. Honda's new EVs will be new products built from the ground up and based on a dedicated platform codenamed Platform E. This new platform will underpin different models with varying battery architectures and installations. Honda's first EV that's slated to launch will be a mid-range electric offering with a fixed battery. There's a high likelihood that Honda will be calling its debutant EV the Activa Electric. The second Honda EV to be launched in India will be one with a swappable battery. Honda has announced that it plans to set up battery swapping stations at its 6,000 plus touch points across the country. Not just that, some of these will be converted to Workshop E in due course and cater only to EVs. Over the past week, Honda also launched the updated Activa 125. The Activa 125 now gets a new 8 Smart variant like the smaller Activa 6G. The range topping A Smart variant is priced at 88,903 rupees. This new variant brings in a different key fob that gives access to a whole host of features. The digital inset on the dash has also been updated to now show an eco indicator and a distance to empty indicator. Honda has also given the updated Activa 125 a handy front cubby. In terms of features, the Honda Activa 125 gets a silent start system, LED headlight and DRLs and the engine gets a new auto choke function as well. 
Suzuki has revealed the e Bergman overseas. The Bergman electric scooter has been spied testing in India multiple times, but now Suzuki has revealed it in its entirety and disclosed most of its specifications as well. The major news here is that Suzuki's e Bergman will feature a swappable battery pack. While the capacity of the swappable lithium ion battery is still under wraps, Suzuki claims the e Bergman has a range of 44 km when ridden at a steady 60 km an hour on a flat surface. While this figure seems quite low, considering our average speeds are much lower, this claimed range figure will most likely increase on the India spec model. The Suzuki e Bergman has a peak power of 4 kilowatts, which puts it in the same ballpark as the TVS iCube and Bajaj Chetak. Notably, at 147 kg, the e Bergman is heavier than all electric scooters on sale in India. There's no word on prices or launch as yet, but Suzuki has hinted the final product could be an evolution of what's been shown so far. And that's all the news we have for you this week. Stay tuned to Autocar India for more automotive content.